Background. This video will introduce and discuss the first aspect of the BEAM framework, background sources. Background information sources help to introduce your research topic to your audience. These sources define discipline-specific vocabulary words and commonly accepted concepts within the field. The types of sources used will vary by topic area or discipline. Look for sources that can provide a credible overview and a foundation of your topic for your audience. Think of secondary sources like online dictionaries, both traditional and professional, professional organization, official websites, encyclopedias, some government websites, and even Wikipedia, whose citations should be used rather than citing Wikipedia directly. Secondary sources, are ones that analyze, describe, or compile primary or original first-person works or first-hand accounts of historical events. Sometimes that information may take the form of an eye-catching statistic. Resources like Pew Research Center are a great popular source of that kind of background information. It's a nonpartisan research think tank uh, with a myriad of credible data on a wide range of general interest topics. If you're at the topic narrowing point of your research assignment and want to deeply explore more topics of interest, CQ researcher and points of view can provide background information from multiple perspectives on topics of social interest, such as abortion rights, marijuana legalization, for example, those that can be used for your own edification and be cited in your research assignment as well. Pro tip. It's important to evaluate and cite all sources you use for credibility to support the claims you make in your research. While general sources like dictionaries can provide background information like standard definitions, sometimes you may want or need to use a discipline specific definition like the one I used here for healthcare from the National Institute of Health, formerly known as the Institute of Medicine. 